So, Pro Tools is up and running, but it doesn't look like anything's happening. Right? We just see the menu bar up at the very top. So the first thing we need to do is create a new session. I'm going to do that by going up under File, New Session. I'll get this dialog box. It says, what do you want to name this new session? Well, we'll call this our first Pro Tools song. I'm going to save this to my desktop. You can save this to anywhere you want, uh, however you decide to work. That's fine. Uh, perhaps you have an, a dedicated folder for it. But I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'll hit Save. Makes a new folder onto my desktop, and any associated files that we create or record or import are going to be uh, kept within this, in this folder. It's great for file maintenance. It sort of forces you into file maintenance, which is nice. Um, so here we are. We've got this software open. Um, we'll see, right now what we're looking at is our edit page. There's two pages in Pro Tools. One is called the edit and one is called the mix page, which is right here. Uh, you'll notice that there's nothing on my mix page. So the first thing we need to do is go up under new tracks. So we'll go up to our track menu and select new. Give us a dialog box. Now we can go through and create several different types of tracks. Uh, we'll see how many tracks we want to create. Right now I've got one. Uh, the next one is whether I want it to be mono or stereo. Next category over is audio tracks, aux input tracks, master fader, MIDI tracks, and instrument tracks. And we're going to create uh, some of all of these. The last thing that it says is in samples. If I click and hold, it'll show me samples or ticks. Samples is the smallest value that you would be working with in terms of audio, and ticks is the smallest value that you'd be working with in terms of MIDI. Um, we'll keep it on samples. It doesn't really matter whatever you decide to choose because you can always switch the view from within the software at a later point. Uh, I want to add another track, so I'm going to hit the plus button. Uh, this time let's make, we'll make four stereo audio tracks. I'm going to make a, we'll make, let's make two aux tracks. I'm going to make a MIDI track. And I'm going to make an instrument track. And last but not least, I'm going to make a master fader. So we've got a variety of different tracks that we're going to create, basically one of each, at least one of each. Uh, and I'll hit the Create button. And boom, there's all of our tracks, all neatly organized and lined out. So we can go through and start working on uh, building out an arrangement. So now let me switch to my mix window. I can go up under Windows and I can switch between my mix and my edit from here. Notice on the right hand side though, I just want to point this out, these are your key commands, your quick keys. Your quick keys are how we can quickly navigate through the different windows and also open up different editors uh, and things inside of Pro Tools. It's a great idea to memorize these. Uh, in your manual you should find a page that has all of the Pro Tools key commands. Uh, go through them. And, and really get used to using them. That's how you will uh, really master the program and be able to fly through it very quickly. Uh, so Apple equals will allow me to switch to my mix window. So there's my mix window. As you can see, we can see, uh, let me just close our transport here for a second. There is all of our available tracks. Um, If I go down below, I can see where all my labels are. We can see all the different types. Uh, we can change this a little bit if we need to in terms of what we're viewing. Um, we can also change our mixer to a narrow view. Uh, I'm going to actually turn off sends F through J. And uh, let's also turn off the comments folder. So now we can actually see the full channel strip all at once. 